Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today we are going to go over division with the golden beads. And I hope you're excited for this because this is one of my favorite lessons with the golden beads. And the reason why is because division is all about sharing equally. And if you're presenting this lesson to a four or five year old, they love the idea of having to share equally. They want to make sure everything is fair. So this is a really great lesson to give. So if you're a little bit nervous about presenting division to four and five year olds, don't be. They love it. Now, the first time we present this, we want to make sure that everything divides evenly. So make sure you pick a number that divides really easily with the number of children you have. So today I'm going to do a presentation on what it looks like to do this with three children. So I want numbers that are divisible by three. So let's start by setting up our really big number. So we're getting our large number cards right here from our large number mat that we've set up. Each child is going to set up their small number cards at their own table or rug. And again, we're going to have our little teacher box here. Now inside are the unit cards. Today we're only going to be using the number three. So I have that ready to go. And then of course we have our large quantity that's going to match our large number cards right here. And so when we sit down to do this presentation for the first time, we're gonna invite the children over and we're gonna have our portion set up. They're gonna have their cards set up and we're gonna to have to go through really important rules. Because division works differently, the first rule we have to introduce is when we share equally, we're gonna to have to start with the largest number. So this time that's gonna be the thousands. Now the second rule is that we have to make sure that everybody gets the same amount of beads. So we have to share equally. Okay, so let's start sharing equally. What is that very first rule? That first rule is we have to start with our largest number. So that's 3,000. As you can see, I have one, two, 3,000 cubes on my tray, and now I have to share equally. And when you share equally, you have to say one for you, one for you, and one for you. All right, so we shared the thousands equally. That was pretty easy. Let's move on to the hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? We have 600. So what is our rule again for sharing? We have to share equally. So here we go. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Oh, I still have more left. We can keep sharing. One for you, one for you, and one for you. All right, do we have any more hundreds left to share? Nope, let's move to our tens. How many tens do we have? We have one, two, three tens. Three tens is 30. We have three tens, so let's share equally. One for you, one for you, and one for you. So now we're all out of tens, and all we have to do is share our units equally. Let's bring our cups down so that we can share equally into the cups. And I am going to put these in my hand. All right, what's our rule? You have to share equally. So here we go. One for you, one for you, and one for you. Do we have more left? Then let's keep going. One for you, one for you, and one for you. We still have more left, so we can still keep sharing. One for you, one for you, and one for you. And take a look. Do we have any more beads left? No, I shared all my beads equally with the three students. So let's see what each student has. The first student has 1,000, 200, a 10, and three units. So at this point, the first student needs to go to their small number cards and bring back 1,213. All right, so the first student brought back 1,213. So what does the second child have? 
1,213. It's the same number. Why is it the same number? Because we had to share equally. So at this point, the second child would go and get their number and it would look just like this. And then the third child would do exactly the same thing. So when we're presenting the format for our cards, we're gonna have our large number card go first. So let's tell the story of division. We started out by building this really big number of 3,639. And then how many times did we share that number? We shared it one, two, three times. So when we have 3,639, and we divide it by sharing equally, how many times? Three, we get 1,213. Now that we've gone through the first division presentation, let's move on to the second presentation, which is what happens when we can't share equally. And so we've created a number here. It's just like the number before. However, there's one difference. I changed the six to a five. So let's go through this and see how this works. So first of all, let's start by asking our students what the rules for division are. Now, our new rule that we're gonna introduce this time is that when we can't share equally, we're gonna to have to go to the bank. So let's start sharing equally and see what happens. So how many thousands do we have? We have 3,000, let's share equally. One for you, one for you, and one for you. All right, so let's start sharing our hundreds. One for you, one for you, and one for you. All right, let's keep sharing equally. One for you, one for, uh-oh, we can't share these equally. I'm gonna have to take these back. Now, when we can't share equally, we have to exchange these. We have to take this to the bank and break them into the smaller quantities. We have to exchange for the next one lower. So we're gonna take a hundred and we're gonna break it into 10 tens by going to the bank. So let's take our first 100 and take it to the bank and exchange it for 10 tens. Okay, let's see if I have 10 tens here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so we have 100 here. So let's see, can we share this one equally? Nope, we can't share this one either. So we're going to have to take this to the bank as well and get another 10 tens. All right, let's see if I have another 10 tens here. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, so we've exchanged all of our hundreds that we couldn't share equally for tens. And now we're all out of 100, so we can move on to tens. And boy, do we have a lot to share in our tens now. So let's start sharing equally. One for you, 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 one for you. We can keep going, so we're just gonna keep going. One for you, 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 one for you. One for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, one for you, and... Uh-oh, we can't share these equally. We're gonna have to exchange for the next one lower. So we're gonna have to break these into unit beats. So we're gonna take them to the bank and exchange them for the units. All right, I've come back from the bank. I have my unit beats and Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay. Now I still have one more left. Can I share it? Nope. So we have to go to the bank and break this one down into units as well. All right, I'm back from the bank. I have my 10 unit beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We don't have any tens left, so we can't share any of those. So it's time to start sharing our units. Here we go. Let's, let's bring our cups down a little closer so it's a little easier. All right, let's start sharing equally. One for you, one for you, one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you, and one for you. One for you, 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 one for you. And can we share these last two equally? We can't. So these are the ones that we can't share equally. We'll just set those aside. And now we're gonna count what we did share equally. So let's go over to the first child and the first child has 1,100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 1,170, how many units do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 1,179. The second child has 1,100. Let's check and see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And do they also have nine units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. What about the third child? We want to make sure everyone has the same amount. 1,100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yes, we have 70. And what about our unit beads? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we have shared equally and we had two left over that we couldn't share. So we're just going to keep them separate. So at this point, the children would go and get their numbers, and then we would lay it all out with our large number. We'd put the three here because that tells us how many times we shared equally. And then we would stack all their numbers together at the very end to show we had a large number. We shared equally three times and got 1,179 as our answer. The answer is always what one person has. So that is our last rule for division. So what are our rules for division? Our first rule is that we have to start with our largest number. We have to share equally. And the answer is what one person gets. And that's it. That's all there is to division with the golden beads. Now I know we still have to go through division with bows, so I will be working on that for my next video. But for right now, keep practicing the division with the golden beads that I showed you today. And you know what? Have fun with it. This should be fun and the students really enjoy it. Anyways, give this a try. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.